Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 25, and this is war number 10. We just have two wars after this one to go in the season. And we're going up against an alliance called the Henchmen. So we're going to take a look at their defense and formulate our attack strategy. All right, so I take path three here in a section one. I see a Medusa. My Claire should be able to handle that, no problem. Uh, I also see uh, that there is a Guardian, Medusa, I mean, uh, not Medusa, but uh, my Claire should be able to handle that one also. Uh, and I notice they don't have a mini. That is interesting. I wonder if that's a mistake or uh, perhaps they don't have enough people. Okay, we've got Doom and we've got Mixmaster Korg. He's like a staple for that node and we have someone who takes care of that very well. All right, we've got Human Torch here and my Nick Fury can take care of him without any difficulty. We've got Colossus, Claire can handle that. That's where we usually see Colossus. Uh, she can also handle uh, this Hulk Buster. And then we have this Sentinel he is also on a uh, buffet node, I believe. Yeah. So, uh, and let me see, that, that global was... Let me see, where are you? Yep, it is protect. So I would probably take that fight with Warlock if I have to take that fight. All right, and we got Boss Island here. We've got Professor X, uh, Nick Fury, and Sorcerer Supreme on the left-hand side. Uh, I could probably take Nick Fury with Claire. I've done it before. Uh, Sorcerer Supreme, I would love to take her with Warlock. Uh, he should be able to handle her. Uh, and that's provided that Warlock is in good shape. Uh, this Professor X, uh, Claire should be able to handle him also. All right. And down the right side, we usually have someone else that can handle the right side, Sasquatch. Uh, thing and spider ham uh, so more than likely I'll be asked to do the uh, left side minis depending on the shape I'm in uh, and what everybody else is doing all right so that is the plan we will bring in Nick Fury Warlock and Black Widow Clairvoyant my usual attack team uh, and we'll be back for the fighting all right, let's get this fighting started. Now, this war is a very important war for us. We have to win this war in order to have a chance at making Platinum 3 this season. So if we lose this war, no Platinum 3. Uh, we'll be in Platinum 4, which is not the most terrible, but of course we'd like to get the better rewards. All right, so first up, we've got a Medusa. And as I mentioned, every time I face Medusa, I remember when she was a very tough defender. Uh, there was no Black Widow Clairvoyant. And one of the best options for fighting her was a Corvus who was boosted up to the gills. They would often put Medusa as the main boss. But as you can see here, rip her to shreds. All right, Black Widow Clairvoyant. Uh, honestly, I could have done that with any of the champions that I brought. Nick Fury could have done that fight just fine. Warlock could have done that fight just fine. I tend to like to use Black Widow Clairvoyant because if I mess up and she gets hurt, she has the ability to heal. Uh, none of the other ones do. Nick Fury has that extra buffer, you know, with that extra life, life model decoy. But I like the fact that she can heal up save me items so next fight we've got guardian now guardian i just have to remember not to fire off a lot of specials against him because he likes to auto block specials all right so my plan of attack going in here against him is to basically fight him like normal without specials if i'm going to fire a special off make sure it's a special three or he's stunned and it's a quick special, like her special one, maybe. All right, but as you can see here, I'm just going in, 
I could have, with anyone else, I could have finished the fight at this point with a special two, not Guardian. And ooh, he got me, almost got me with that uh, special because I was so close up on him. And uh, But I was able to evade it. I know a lot of people just block. In Alliance War, sometimes it's not worth trying to evade even though you know you can evade. But in Alliance War, somehow things are just a little different. The AI fights differently. Um, it's responsive, uh, either less or more. Uh, so most of the time, just blocking and healing up is safer than giving up a death. Uh, I've watched several uh, Master Level Alliances uh, members doing fights, and a lot of times that's what they do. They would just block, and then they'll heal up. Very expensive, but that's what it takes when you're up there at the Master Level. All right, so we got through our path without too much difficulty. Now, this here, when I saw this, I was a little, uh, not really upset, but I was wondering, why did they go in after this Human Torch? Why didn't they wait for me? Nick Fury, I, every time I fought Human Torch on this node, I've gotten the one shot with Nick Fury. As long as my Nick Fury is not, you know, hurt, bad, like the real Nick Fury is out already and down to 30%, he can do this fight pretty easily. Uh, and I would say even the 30% health real Nick Fury could do this fight. Um, but they went in, they tried um, and died. I don't know how many times they did, uh, but we came in to clean up. Um, I boosted up because I know I'm going to have to fight uh, later on on my path. Finished him off without any difficulty. Uh, that's kind of how the fight would have gone. Uh, even if he had been at full health, uh, even if I messed up, I would have still gotten him down with Nick Fury. All right, so we got through that. You saw that we did have an attack bonus, so um, we at least got that. But for such an important war, I would have thought they'd be a little bit more careful and plan it out and that sort of thing, talk it out. But it is what it is, okay? Um, so now we're fighting our favorite mutant on this node, Colossus. Uh, Claire is the counter for Colossus on this node. In fact, she's the counter for many champions on this node. She's great. Uh, I, I'm trying to remember a time where I didn't use Claire uh, on this node. I think I brought in Corvus one time, uh, but because of the Protect Global... I don't bring Corvus in. Uh, he can still do it. You just have to be careful who you're fighting. You know, just don't fight large or extra large champions. And if you do, just know you're going to have to do a lot of intercepting. All right, but we got uh, got him down. And we're facing a Hulkbuster. You're going to see this theme. Colossus, Hulkbuster... Uh, I've fought them before on these nodes. You tend to see the same champions. Sometimes it's a guardian over there. Um, you see a little variety, but usually you see the same champions. All right. And fighting him is straightforward. Unlike the last war, I don't need to heal up. So I can go right into my curse of um, hellfire. And uh, now what happened there? It happens every once in a while. It read it as a light attack. And so it switched me to Curse of Blood. Didn't want it, didn't need it, but I didn't notice it. And we went ahead and did that. And see, I didn't really need that health, you know? And so I'm just like, all right, well, too late now. He's already gone. It is what it is. We got him down. Um, it could have been done a little bit faster, but it's okay. He went down. Uh, being in Curse of Blood isn't the worst thing in the world uh, accidentally. Now, we've got this Sentinel. And I'm thinking, okay, this war is important. And I'm looking at who my alliance mates uh, on the other paths brought. And I'm thinking, okay, you know what? This could be an annoying fight. So what I'm going to do to handle the buffet is bring in Warlock. I'm also going to boost up. 
Okay, see me eyeing these boosts here. And I'm like, yeah, I want that advanced power boost. Do you remember in the last war, I said I could have done uh, a certain thing when I was fighting Apocalypse on the power gain? Well, I'm doing it here. Okay, I didn't do it the last war. Now I'm doing it because I'm going to be doing um, mostly medium light mediums to keep his analysis charges down. So I got the infection up. All right, and you see I'm doing medium light medium, medium light medium. Don't have to worry about that regen. I'm almost at my uh, special two. Here we go. Special two. Boom. And that reset all the counters, and I'm almost at a special two again. Okay, and you can see here I'm trying to bait out that special, and he was being a little stingy with it, but we got it. We're almost at a special two. Regen doesn't matter because he's infected. Okay, and here we go. Another special two and boom now he's got analysis charges up at this point so it's doing a little bit less damage okay but we we want to keep that infection up okay medium light mediums you got the suppression in all right and then i can see here that he's going to go down regardless that's why i'm hitting into his block just to make sure he doesn't heal and didn't worry about getting to another special two so sentinel down you see what difference those boosts make. So when you're real serious about not dying, you choose a good counter and you boost. And I tend to boost at least with the 15 percenter. But in cases like this, and I knew how important this war uh, was, I wanted to make sure I boosted for success. That should be a slogan, uh, maybe a tagline, boost for success. All right, so... Now we're on Mini Boss Island. And we've got that Sasquatch. And I mentioned earlier, I don't really want to do that. Uh, but I was actually asked to tackle these guys here up the left, which I usually am. Uh, so we've got Nick Fury, Nick Fury. Now, I was hoping that he um, was bugged again. You'll notice that uh, he was bugged uh, in, I think, a couple of wars this season. So I went in and I was facing the real Nick Fury right off the bat. And I was like, ooh, okay, I'll take that. Just makes the fight faster, less chance for me to make a mistake. Um, and of course, I hate long fights. So having a shorter fight, I like it. All right, so you can see here, I did a couple of boosts up here. And um, sorry about that. Hold on. It always happens like right when I need it. The, the, the phone will be uh, quiet all day. But as soon as I start uh, recording. All right. So we've got uh, Nick Fury here. And the idea is to fight Nick Fury. Uh, eat the special one if I have to. But she can heal up. So when I think about bringing in Black Widow Clairvoyant. And I want to fight Nick Fury I'm thinking like see here um, we got lucky there he didn't remain unblockable he lost the charges uh, right when we needed it um, but he often gets that unblockable like that and the only thing to do is to eat it I can't evade it uh, I don't know anybody that that does evade it um, I'm not saying it's not evadable but I can't do it all right so here I'm trying to maybe get him but he wouldn't do it all right see had to eat it because i was at a special two and i just needed to bait out maybe a heavy so i went ahead got that um got a, a intercept in all right now here we go he's unblockable okay we're good um i think that's just the node unblockable at that point all right so at this point i want to push him to his second phase all right so that's why you see me doing all this all right he's unblockable again eat it just couldn't get him to that special uh that second phase i could have fired the special three off um but i wanted to do that once he was at a special uh as his second phase all right and there we go eating it again it's just ugly all right and he's still not so i said you know what forget this because i'm gonna mess up and he's going to hit me unblockable and then just wreck me so we need to get him to his second phase. So I failed to push him to his second phase twice. 
So we fired off the special three just to push him to the special, uh, to his uh, second phase. And now we're just waiting out that um, D-Gen. Now, this is where high sig plays a part. Now, you see I'm fighting a six star, Nick Fury. Okay, the sig level is not that high. And I know that because that D-Gen went down uh, pretty quickly. His health went down pretty quickly on the D-Gen. The higher the sig, the slower and longer that phase is. Okay, there we go. Eating it again. Okay, so here I gotta, I gotta nail some intercepts. So you see I was trying to bait him out. Come on, attack me, attack me. Nope, not there. Attack me, nope. We baited out a heavy, good. I got a special two ready for you. All right, hail Mary! And he's down. All right, so we got Nick Fury down. Not the prettiest fight. Pretty sloppy. That's that's what it was. It was pretty sloppy. Um, but we got him down. Uh, this was a big boy Nick Fury. If you've watched me fight Nick Fury in the past, uh, you'll know I did better. But I usually don't have to face a, a really beefy Nick Fury like that. All right, so now we're going to fight this Sorcerer Supreme. And when I fought her, you'll often hear me say, I want to bring in Nick Fury for this fight. Uh, but when my Nick Fury is hurt or down or anything like that, I end up bringing in like maybe a warlock. All right. But you're going to see why I wanted the, you know, um, why I wanted to bring Nick Fury in for this fight. Look at her health. Her health is already going down. Okay. Look at this. And we're not that far into the fight. Okay. And this is not even the real Nick Fury. Okay. So... I just need to bait out some specials because I don't really want to eat a special three if I can help it. Um, but it's all good. We've got plenty of life to deal with, uh, to, to work with. And she's going down real fast. So here I fired a special two just because. And then I'm like, all right, even if at this point I did eat a special three, still going to do it. And down she goes. All right. So pretty quick, pretty easy, straightforward fight with Dick Fury. All right, so we're going to take a little break and we'll be back and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back. And unfortunately, we lost this war. We actually needed to win this war to have a chance at Platinum 3. So because we lost this war, we're going to do boss rushes for the rest of the season and we will be in Platinum 4. There's no way for us to get Platinum 3, so may as well save items. But for this war, here's something. Look at that. So, Irv Nari, Lord Shadow, and Big Blue, all MVPs for this war. Even though we lost, there's a silver lining. All right, so that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.